Oh, what's going on, Call of Duty refugees? I really have a bad feeling that the homie Blame Truth is not gonna wanna like this video, okay? The homie Blame Truth is not gonna like this video because you see the homie and thoughts, the homie and thoughts. He started calling out Blame Truth. He was going crazy at the guy over at the, the Blame Truth, or I mean, uh, the homie Blame Truth, literally, right? And the streets are literally looking like this, okay? Everybody's getting their popcorn ready. Suckers are coping big time, right? And most importantly, my non existing dog. This is exactly why my non existing dog likes to bite people okay? like damn this situation is wilder than johnny sins movies like the video if you just want good games without crazy microtransactions without anything like that dislike the video if you want the value i want to know where you guys at but let me actually give you a little bit of context okay before i give you the plot twist let me give you context so for a minute now Sickers have been beefing, okay? Sickers have been beefing, beefing, beefing. Everybody beefing, beefing, beefing. So right now, Aethots is coming out and he says that X Define is shutting down. We're gonna hear his side of the story and he's definitely gonna provide context. I'm giving you the context too. And, and the homie Nero Cinema, he's also talking about, hey, what happened to X Define? So we're gonna wanna take a look at both of these fellas, okay? Because both of these fellas are for a minute now, we have heard nothing but complaints from the side of the homie uh, Blame Truth, okay? He hates everything and everything and everything. Thing. And that's his birthright, okay? That's his birthright. That's not me dropping a dunk on him. He just don't like anything, okay? <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. He provides us with, with like, what therapy? Free therapy? I love free therapy, okay? If it's free, it's for me, okay? Minus, minus the, the dustbin game for sure, okay? Minus that Dustborn game, minus that Concord game, which is not even free. I'm not sure if Dustbin, Dustborn game is free or not, but, you know, whatever, okay? But here's the thing, though. So, Blame Truth, he hated everything in his life, and right now, what we're hearing is that he loves X Defiant, and I'm really happy for the guy. I, I said it before, I'll say it again, finally, he likes the game. And same goes for the homie Blame Truth as well, right? Oh, or I should say, uh, it Thoughts as well, okay? The same goes for it, it Thoughts as well. He, he hated on Call of Duty all of his life. And right now, <laughs> he loves Call of Duty, man. He loves Call of Duty. He loves Call of Duty. He loves Call of Duty. And nothing wrong with that. So, see, I'm happy for uh, Blame Trust loving X Define. I'm happy for A Thoughts loving Call of Duty. And both of these suckers have been beefing, 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 okay? Now, with that context, armed with that information, let's get right into the story, okay? Let's uh, hear what the homie Ghost of Eight gotta say. Eight thoughts. Shout out to the homie Eight thoughts. Gang, gang. Like the video. Roll it. And jokes and trying to prove points and trying to you know share my ideas with the community and thoughts with the community to show them the yeah. bullshit with all these content creators. But I do not miss. You have to read between the lines of the bullshit that I be speaking because in there are the nuggets of truth like as if I was a gospel. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bring it in, brothers. So, x <laughs> falls out of the top 40 most played on PlayStation and Xbox for the first time since launch. The game okay. sucks. Let's just be honest. It sucks. Anyone out here trying to tell you it was going to be great, you knew it wasn't going to be great. When the game was released, the beta was fine because it was a beta. When the game was released, I told you immediately, Damn. immediately, you go and look at my videos, I told you immediately, the game is dead. The net code sucked, the hit detection sucked, there's nothing to do, nothing to play, nothing to unlock, and I know people are going to use that as coping before I get in this article telling you and saying exactly what I've been saying for the last two months, that the game's dead, and it fell out of the top 40 a long time ago, but now... Uh, my bad, I have to have the timing on the sound effects, bro. Like, it just sometimes don't want to engage, you feel what I'm saying? Just like, just like the homie, uh, you know, Blame Truth helmet that he promoted that didn't work. I had to, you know, make that up, guys, some way, though, so. Oh, these people just want to talk about it. But the Ectified moron fanboys hate Call of Duty so much that they're just trying to find something to replace it. And I get down with it. I agree. Call of Duty is getting long in the teeth for OGs like me. Elite gamers. Stud muffin athletes, brother. Oh, yeah. I'm not telling you about it. But this wasn't going to be it. It's never going to be it. COD is never going to die. You can hate it all you want. It doesn't change the fact this game fucking sucked. It is horrible. Yeah. It is not good. It doesn't work well. They built the game on an MMO engine like a group of morons. They've been feeding you lines of bullshit. And they're trying to tell you more content. It didn't make a difference. When season one dropped, the player count did not go up okay it is not going to change the season two it literally has a thousand now, to be honest love him or hate him though these are facts though. like i i can't argue with facts and and i'm not saying x define sucks i i, I said it before x define is not a call of duty killer like come on now it's not it's not bro like it, it's just not man when you have Battlefield, that this is Battlefield 4, by the way, right? Gameplay looks way better. This game came out in 2013. This looks miles better than Extra Fine, all right? Objectively, I'm not even talking opinions here. Objectively, right? And I'm not hitting on Extra Fine. I also do believe that it's an alternative 
it's decent. Gameplay can be fun at times, and I played it myself. Uh, haven't played it in a while, but when I last time when I played it, I was like, yeah, the game is good, and people that are loving it, I'm happy for everybody liking the game. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. You love it, you love it. Hey, fair, that's fair, right? It's not a Call of Duty killer, but it's also not the trashiest game of all time. Like, damn, man, when you got dust, <laughs> when you got this dustbin game, right? Like, come on, man, what are we talking about? It's not the worst game ever. It's not the best game ever, right? So, uh, we have people on both sides right now. I guess uh, the homie 8 Thoughts is like, Hey, the game sucks, bro. The game sucks. Fair. The homie uh, Blame2 is like, Hey, the game is the best game ever, man. The best game ever. So, we got, we got both extremes. We love it that both of these fellas have found their games that they like, right? I'm happy for both of these fellas, man. I mean, damn, man. Damn, man. I'm happy for both of these fellas, man. But, but, but see, like, people are really, really on the both extremes and what he's saying here is that it's facts because the player count has dipped and uh yeah in in just moments we're gonna hear what the homie nero cinema gotta say as well guys clench your butt cheeks for this one man some people playing the game it is beyond dead if the game is so great they would love it so much i would like to ask you a question then i want to ask a question i can get in this article and i'd like to play something here why is no video ever on YouTube about X Defiant anymore? Why is no one talking about this game anymore? Blame Truth, the biggest X Defiant cod cock sucking fanboy in the history of any first person shooter game I've ever seen. I've never seen someone stroke and take it so deep as Blame Truth does for X Defiant. When's the last time that. Tranquilo, papi. Yo, papi, chill. <coughs> Pump the brakes, though. He ain't lying, guys. He ain't lying. Yeah, I'm not seeing videos on X Defiant. I guess today I'm seeing videos and back to back. You got the homie Nero Sunma dropping it, okay? You got the homie Ghost of Aid dropping it, okay? I'm not sure if they like tag team or not, if this was meant to be. But these suckers literally just tag team. And I'm coming out with a triple threat right now. <laughs> yeah! It's becoming a triple threat. And we, you know, to be honest though, like I don't want this video to be like that. But in a way, it feels like that. We're trying to do like one versus three. Where like Nero Sunma, uh, you got the homie... Uh, uh, it thoughts me skizzle uh we going like you know friendly uav style at the homie blame truth i don't like that man no nah, man uh, please this is not a triple threat i want to make sure i don't want this to be like one versus three no 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 it ain't even about that at the end of the day it's just video games bruh and you know what like we just joking around we just joking around okay like hey blame truth if you're watching this video let me send you some kishish baba yeah man like uh, it ain't even about that though but if the homie Blimtrus likes the game, it thoughts, so what, man? Like, so what, bro? Like, damn, man. Like, so what? It's just a game, man. It's just a game, man. That dude ever made a video on X Defiant months ago. You know why? Because no one gives a fuck about this game. Unless you can hate on Call of Duty, <laughs> that's the only thing people are going to like about this game. And now that's done, it's dusted, no one gives a shit anymore. Okay, while we're still a few weeks away from the start of X Defiant Season 2, Ubisoft San Francisco might want to cook up an in-game event or something. And for the first time since the game's release in May, the oh yeah, I forgot, it's free to play and still no one wants to play it. The free-to-play shooter has dropped from both the PlayStation and Xbox platform's top 40 most played games. I said that Ugh. weeks ago, months ago. The data comes from the True Achievements and True Trophies recent top 40 charts. Talked about that too. Lording it over on the PlayStation front is Fortnite with EA Sports FC 24 at the second spot and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Grand Theft Auto, and Roblox rounding out the top five. On Xbox, it's the same five games including the top five with the replacement in different order. This is a huge drop from X Defined as they saw over 11 million players log into the shooter in its first month of release. 11, like I said, there's never been a bigger drop in gaming history. 11 million for the first month down to like a thousand. If it's dropped out the top 40, no, there maybe only be hundreds whoa, of people playing the game. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, say you swear to God. Say you swear to God. Okay, so let me actually do this uh, here. So he's saying to down to a thousand? Oh, we gotta play the GTA 5 heist music in the background. All right, guys, clench your butt cheeks. We gotta do this. Let me just switch up languages right now real quick. Let me actually search it real quick, okay? X Defined, right? Let me let me search X Defined real quick. Do we have that on PC? Where's X Defined? Where's X Defined? X Defined is not showing up, though. What? X Defined not showing up. X to find. Where is X to find, man? Where is X to find? Okay, I cannot seem to find it on Steam. All right, but we're gonna take the word for it. So, did he 11 million people? It said where's 1,000? Did he make it up though? I think he made it up. There's no way it's down to 1,000 people, bro. There's no way. I can believe it, like uh, that it's down to perhaps like 10,000 or 20,000, but there's no way it's down to like 1,000 people. Where did it say, man? Where did it say, bro? Uh, 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 there is literally zero stuff to earn, no calling cards as much. Season 2 shouldn't be far behind, 11 million people. 
and, and to be fair though every game has uh, does see a drop right every game does see a drop but f that's fair though it's an online game it's free to play right and it, it's an fps title so it shouldn't see that big of a drop but it is seeing which tells me the game is mid and, and even if you don't want to uh, agree with that the player count shows that it is mid that's why people are dropping like flies on it right and, and i also do believe that we're in a different timeline as well or a different climate perhaps because yeah uh, right now people do demand content people do demand content if the game is not going to be getting content for like a solid month yeah people gonna dip people gonna dip that's what wh that's how it is man because i feel like that fortnite really really ruined people's expectations in that way i'm not blaming fortnite i always held this opinion and i still hold this opinion that you cannot blame fortnite because People are trying to, when I say people, I mean these publishers are, these things are trying to copy Fortnite model. And they have been copying Fortnite model for years and years, but they never get to do it right. Fortnite's frequency and quality is just crazy, right? They always seem to come out with the biggest and the baddest events. Right now, I'm not sure what's going on, but usually they come out with the biggest and baddest events. And they always see the, the most amount of players why is that because they make sure the quality is there and the frequency is there quality with frequency both are important and these seconds are copying that model fortnite model but they cannot deliver man they cannot deliver at the same pace and this is their biggest problem right now you want to copy but you're gonna half-ass it Sega's not gonna like it. Simple as that. A and I do agree that Fortnite did ruin people's expectations, but I also feel like that it's uh, in a way it's kind of good because it making people demand for more and ask for more, which I think is good. I believe that's good because we deserve more. Gamers deserve more. As a brown man, I demand online to be free to play. I demand PlayStation and Xbox online to be free. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. As a brown man, I demand no microtransactions in a $70 game, or you can have minimal microtransactions, but that are not like, because for Call of Duty, bruh, all the content that comes out seems like that it's behind a paywall, right? A and we barely get any free content. I'm not against the idea of them charging. I mean, back in the days we had season pass, and I'm not saying bring back the season pass, but I'll be honest with you guys, okay? Back when, when we had season pass and no microtransactions or no crazy microtransactions, life was simple, man. It was amazing. We would get quality maps. We would get quality zombie maps as well, right? I'm talking about like the Black Ops 2 timeline, even Black Ops 3 timeline, right? When we had season pass. I, I'm not saying bring back the season pass, but like, damn, back in the days, bro, like we did get good content though right i'm not opposed to the idea of like paying for content but when every content in a full price game by the way 70 dollars game by the way is locked behind a paywall right i mean dang what are we talking about you pay 70 dollars then you gotta buy a battle pass not against the idea of battle pass but but like damn after you bought the battle pass you gotta pay 20 30 dollars every week multiple times a week uh, of course it's optional but my point is that these suckers always prioritize new content and guess what it's not it's not free it's always locked behind a paywall brah you paid full price for the game if the game is free then okay makes uh, makes sense to a certain degree right but like these suckers are crazy man they're ruining gaming big time bruh Guys, they have guys, already there's still it. the Rockefeller map set to roll out season two. Yay! Oh my god. And once that's over, season two should be far behind. Oh yeah. Aside from the much needed new content, the game is having from progression drought as aside from the gun camels, there's really literally zero stuff to earn. No calling card, no player elbows, no nothing, unless you've been paid for the battle pass, which is absolute shit. All the skins suck, all the battle pass unlocks suck. This game is like a mobile game that you wouldn't give more than ten minutes of your time to while you're waiting for the bus on the side of the road because you got nothing going on in your life except subscribing to Blame Truth and losers like Fooly and thinking they're actually telling the truth we're just using the algorithm to hate on call of duty to get views treating you like some goddamn sims who don't have a mind for themselves and also tricky to thinking like oh yeah this game is dead too these guys are full of shit con killer when is anybody gonna listen to the goat i am the goat there's a reason why this stud muffin sitting in front of you has been at the pinnacle at the top we're rising okay oh, we're gonna pump the brakes real quick okay hold up wait a second let's give the chance to the homie nero cinema right now okay let's see what the homie nero gotta say nero cinema as the homie thoughts like to say but you heard the homie thoughts though if you want to dispute his claim, 
Put it in the comments. All right, let's see. To X Defiant. It's been a while since I posted an X Defiant video here to the channel, and truthfully, the reason why is because there hasn't been a whole lot going on with this game. I do actually find myself not playing this game nearly as much because I'm kind of just waiting for the new content to come out. As of yesterday, X Defiant turned three months old, and in that time, they've added two primary weapons. We had an assault rifle and a sniper. We had a secondary weapon, one faction, and then one arena map and one linear map. We've also Bruh. gotten what can only be described Bruh. as one and a half battle passes because the preseason battle pass was about half as big as a normal one. No, I, I feel like that. I wanna, I really wanna clown on them right now, but I, I'm not gonna. You, you wanna know why? Yeah. Be, because, because this game uh, has also gotten well, what's this called? What's the best way to describe it? It's a Call of Duty alternative, right? It's not as big as Call of Duty, and I guess people understand. And I'm not seeing people clown on it too bad though. The homie it thoughts he's clowning on it. I, I guess. Uh, uh, for real, for real, and also he's exaggerating as well for YouTube comedic uh, purposes as well. He's joking around. I, I get that part, right? But but I feel like that truthfully, people are not clowning on the game because everybody realized that it's free to play, and it's not that big of a deal. It was supposed to be a Call of Duty alternative, and that's what it was. But let's be fair though. Three months and like two maps, one new gun or two new guns, whatever. That's not gonna cut it, bro. That's not gonna cut it when it's a live service game. And to be fair though, we're talking about Ubisoft, man. Ubisoft has been under massive backlash with, with the BBC Samurai, with the gay BBC Samurai situation, right? In Assassin's Creed, they turned the BBC Samurai gay. And, uh, you know, they, they actually made the game based off of Wikipedia. They got a lot of stuff wrong. And Jap Japanese people not happy. Western people not happy. Nobody's happy with it. Some people are, but generally speaking, most people are not happy with the Star Wars situation, right? Yeah, go figure, right? They're getting a ton of backlash even their investors are pulling out money from their stock so situation is bad all around uh, and, and of course rainbow six siege is considered to be one of their best games of all time and recently they came out with their wheelchair um, i kid you not i covered that in a video recently uh they are coming out with the wheelchair uh operator in the game like holy crap what are we talking about and if you have seen that video you know what i'm seeing you can picture it but for those of you that do not know what I'm talking about. Let me just tell you straight away, it's bad. It's almost as if, if these seconds decided to add, and make no mistake, they're probably gonna one day or eventually gonna add a blind sniper operator. What are we talking about, right? A wheelchair operator in the game they added. Now, no disrespect to people that are actually on wheelchair and have disability, this isn't even about that, but like these seconds are crazy, bro. So they're trying to actively destroy their Rainbow Six Siege and go figure man, like this game X Define is getting destroyed as well. And, and yeah, Nero Cinema, it, it thoughts both of these suckers are uh, <laughs> tag teaming man, they are tag teaming on the homie Blame Truth bro. And that's pretty much it. Like, we go back 22 days ago, that's when we got the Daytona map, which you guys are seeing right here. But that is a linear map, therefore it can only be played in game modes like Escort and Zone Control. And right. I don't have the facts to back this up, but I would say that probably the majority of the community play the arena maps. You know, game modes like Domination, Occupy, Team Deathmatch, Hot Shot, game modes like that, right? So when they add in a new map that's only for those linear game modes, well, it's kind of like, well, I guess people have played the other aspect of the game don't really get any updates for a while and here we are we have just over one month left of season one and all that's really on the roadmap in terms of content is going to be right uh, okay i just realized right x define is probably not on steam i just realized i was looking for it i just realized it's probably on ubisoft connected uh, yeah like well why was i thinking it was gonna be on steam and i can see the blue account Right? Yeah, it's on Ubisoft Connect, I think. Rockefeller, that map that accidentally came out back when Season 1 dropped, and then Search and Destroy. Though, unfortunately, Search and Destroy is having some issues. Mark Rubin did confirm via Twitter that the game mode is done. Like, the game mode is finished, they have everything set up, but they're having trouble adding in a proper spectating camera, because that's all new technology to the engine that they run X Defiant on, and so that's taking Bruh. some time for them to figure out and for them to finish. So, overall, I would say that there's been a content drought in X Defiant as of late, and that is that. Oh, are you she? You she? Definitely pushing a lot of people away from the game. I can say subjectively that a lot of my friends have stopped playing, which is really unfortunate. <sighs> I don't think that they're done with the game entirely, but in terms of just signing in every day, grinding the game every day, they've moved away from that because let's be honest, the honeymoon phase is now over. They're moving on to different yeah. things, trying out different stuff. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is definitely one of them. And I think that myself, my friends, and probably the entire community- uh, I, I do believe that there are multiple factors, right? Of course, what Nero is saying is true. I mean, it thoughts crazy 
approach, but what he said true as well. People are dropping like flies. And, and I think it's multiple factors, right? Fortnite did ruin everybody's expectations. People demand more, people expect more. And the honeymoon phase, like you said, is over. So right now there's nothing left to do. So people that are playing the game or played the game, they have nothing to do on the game. So they're like, let me just drop out real quick. Maybe people are gonna return when they have new content. Maybe, we'll see if that happens or not. But generally speaking, most people, yeah, expect more content and there's nothing really to do. Another thing I believe is that the average gamer now has aged up right like average gamer is no longer 12 yes there are a lot of 12 years old playing the game as well and new gamers are always coming on and that's the the way life works but you know what like the modern warfare 2 2009 gamer uh gaming era and the gamer that was playing that game then has aged up so point is that people are growing old and people demand more and you know you need more stimuli to uh, for these games to hold your attention and also generally speaking games uh, haven't really innovated too much when you think about it especially the fps genre it's getting very very stale and like i said x define is not a call of duty killer it would have been if the game was like crazy innovative the finals we saw the finals gameplay it looked really innovative graphics amazing and still to this day graphics are amazing don't get me wrong but that people dropped out of that game too that game literally died bro nobody talks about it i feel like that most of you already forgot about it even i forgot about it it just came in my mind as i'm making this video prior to me making this video i didn't have that in mind see like people are just i guess um uh, you know it, a game fps games scene is very dry and, and really i feel like that i don't i really have no idea how they can in a way the fps scene other than improving the graphics going crazy with like destruction right having good maps like smaller maps bigger maps as well but smaller maps gotta actually hit as well right and on top you need to frequently come out with the content i guess this is gonna be their new innovate innovation this is a new innovation idea because seriously think about it what else they can do in an fps game right yeah like uh yeah i'm lost for words i'm lost of ideas and, and after all this is not my job i'm not a game dev so these like, is better think of something unique and new all right i mean black ops 6 is coming out with omni movement omni movement we're gonna see how that works but overall i believe that you need a lot of content you need frequent content and you need you frequent content and you need to wow your audience especially when it comes to the fps scene in terms of single player games your idea and story needs to be amazing and you know what people are gonna play your game people are gonna buy your game uh and eventually that game is gonna die which is understandable and that's normal for a single player game because that's how single player games games works but in terms of an fps online shooter yeah man like people just gonna move on pretty fast people gonna jump ships pretty fast back in the days it was not like that people are aging up people are also burnt out on it and fps scene is really really dry let me know your thoughts as well let me know what other factors you think are uh, at play here as well check out this video on the screen we got some good news about gta 6 some new gameplay leaks high leaks as well online stuff coming out check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there on the left we have another video if you already seen that then uh, check out the video on the left we have a lot of drama with the woke stuff with the dustborn situation man crazy